Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we're doing our first demo on my homemade demo board. So the demo board, I'll I'll share a video of it later of how to like how I created it, but I cut all the wood myself, wired it all up. With the actual fire alarm, uh, fire alarm rated cable, it's two wires and a protective sheet, and in the back boxes and everything. And so down here at the bottom, there are four spots for four initiating devices and for the initiating devices today we have the upvote UT HC 102 uh, pole station it's a weird pole station it's a rip off of the firelight and it, I bought it because it's cheap but it's really meant for like their security system so it was kind of hard to wire up I had to take a whole bunch of things out of it and then here in the next one is the Simplex Dual Action T-Bar, model number 40999003, push in, pull down. And it's a really nice pull station, I like it, it's what we have in my school. And then there's a third pull station coming, that'll be a surprise, but I ordered it about a month ago, and it's still not here, and they keep saying it's going to ship, and then it doesn't, because that'd be special made, but I'm, I'm fighting with them. And then an empty spot for number four. I still don't know what pole station I want to get there. If you guys want to comment something, that'd be cool. But I'm still in debates about what I want to get there. Um, and then going straight up is my main power active silencer switch. So I can either pull the pole station in active and have the alarms go off. Or pull the pole station in silence and the alarms won't go off. And then here we have the main junction. This is where all the wires come in and are all connected. It's like the brains of the board. It's where then it tells the NACs to activate. And then for the NACs today, we have a spot for two NACs. But anything with this board I can add on or remove too. It's it's pretty versatile. I like it. For NAC 1, we have the Gentex Commander 3, by far one of my favorite alarms. It is set on 60 candela and low volume whoop. Whoop is like my favorite tone on it. That and Mechanical Code 3. And then here is the... Edwards or EST Genesis in white. It is fixed 15 candela and fixed code 3. So with, uh, without further ado, let's, let's start pulling our pole stations. I'm going to pull each station twice. I'll pull it once regularly and then I'll key activate it. So let's begin. We have key for my, for my first pole station here and I'm ready. So in three, Two, one, push in, pull down. And the strobes on these are out of sync. You can't really see it on the camera, but it kind of does like a step. It goes do, 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 do. So it just kind of, it, it passes over to the next one. So now that we're going to key activate the first pole station. So to key activate it, you need to put your key in, open it. And then there's this little flip switch inside. That's what the front plate actually, uh, here I'll show you. So the front plate, when you pull it, it pushes in and goes down. All it does is just push down that switch. That's that's literally all it does. So, in three, two, one. And to reset it, you just flip it up and close the pull station. And lock. All right, next we're going to be doing the Simplex Dual Action T-Bar. I'm going to be testing this one a little differently. I'm going to pull it, and instead of stopping the alarm from the pull station, I'm going to stop them with my silencer switch and then reset the pull station. So I have the famous Simplex B key all ready to go. 
And this pull station I got, instead of coming with one key, one simplex key, it came with three. So I have a lot of B keys for one station, which is kind of cool. But that means I have spares. So without further ado, in three, two, one. Push in the plate, pull down the lever. It. So the system is uh, silenced, it's not armed, and then to reset this one you just put your key in, turn it, and then when you open it the arm will spring back up, and then all I have to do is close it. But inside, all it does is this button is normally pushed in, and then when the lever is pulled it just moves out of the way button, and then the alarm goes off. And then just, because it's bothering me that the sticker's up, but under this sticker there's a set of dip switches and that's how you set the address for the full station. So then you just close it and turn the key back. And then we'll rearm the system. And then this time we're going to key activate it. Key activating this is really easy, which is nice because like if you have a brake rod in the station and you don't want to break the brake rod just for doing an inspection, just take the key, put it in, turn, and open in three, two, one. Take it and close and lock. All right, so that was it of the very first demo of my demo board. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.